Welcome to Zelda Universe TV, it's Zelda time! Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Zelda News, I'm your host Bastion, let's get to those top stories. Our first story is about Legos. Um, no, unfortunately, there are no Zelda Lego sets just yet. Um, but if you wish that there were such a thing, you could possibly make it happen. It's a site where um, people can, anybody can submit a design for a Lego set or kit. Um, and what they then do is post this up on their website, and enough enough people vote for that particular kit or. Uh, pack, then uh, they'll go ahead and make it into an actual purchasable set. I would have loved this as a kid. I remember um, making all kinds of Zelda adventures with my Legos. I remember that there was like a little green bandana, and that's all I had to use for Link's hat um, and some like green archery. A green archer Lego guy. So anyways, I would have loved this when I was a kid, and uh, if it's made, I probably will actually buy it because it's just, that would be awesome. Speaking of Legos, our next story is about uh, uh, the hookshot um, being made completely out of just Legos. Of course it doesn't actually work, <laughs> I don't even think uh, it extends or anything, but um, still it's a pretty good likeness. and. Uh, we, so far we've seen the Master Sword and the Hook Shot, so I wonder what they're going to make out of Legos next from Zelda. Our next story is about Hyrule Historia. That's that Japanese uh, book that we all originally thought was just going to be an art book of concept art, but it turns out it actually had the officials of the timeline in it. It had uh, hundreds of pages worth of a story giving more details than we ever knew about how all of those stories and games interconnect, um, but it's only in Japanese. Uh, so um, a lot of fans have been petitioning Nintendo to go ahead and release that book in English because we'd sure like to get our hands on it. Recently a fan sent Nintendo a question about it asking when is it going to be released in English, and unfortunately all Nintendo of America had to say is they don't know what's in the book and they don't have any specifics on when or if it will be released. So that's a little disheartening that uh, Nintendo of America still doesn't seem to know what's up with Hyrule Historia, but you never know. We will, we may get it someday. Our next story is about Soul Calibur V. Um, now you may remember that an older Soul Calibur actually had Link uh, licensed in the game. Um, not so much in Soul Calibur V, but what they did in Soul Calibur V was provided enough materials to let you create your own custom characters. So we've seen a few iterations of Link. In this video, you can see Link and Dark Link battling it out, uh, wonder who's gonna win. Um, and then in this video, you can see the Grusinator himself up against Girahim. So be sure to check these videos out and see who's gonna win. And our next story comes from the official Nintendo magazine, that's the UK's version of Nintendo Power basically, and in it they listed 10 Zelda facts or secrets that you may or may not already be aware of. Uh, some of these we already are, like how um, Zelda got her name from F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife. Um, other things are a little more cryptic, like the fact that there's Hylian on Ganon's sword from Wind Waker, and that that translates into uh, Zubora Gabora, which is one of the blacksmiths from Majora's Mask, so that's kind of unusual. Um, so if you're interested in checking out those uh, facts or secrets, be sure to click on the link down below. So our final story is about a Zelda fan who also rents a room from another Zelda fan, and in order to pay rent he thought it would be pretty creative, so what he did is he created this map of their apartment, done in the uh, Ocarina of Time map style, and uh, located a treasure chest in his friend's room. Um, so when his friend went into the room, he found that his uh, the renter had made a custom Zelda-style treasure chest, inside of which was a giant's wallet, uh, which was full of rupees. Um, so uh, that's pretty creative. If you are going to pay rent to a Zelda fan, that's probably the way to do it. And that's it for this week's episode of Zelda News. Be sure to check out this week's Games Like Zelda video. That's about um, the rest of the East series. I covered the first two East games last week. This is about basically the rest of the series. 
Uh, kind of Zelda-like, a little more RPG than Zelda, but still really fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Curses. Okay, we can go to the gym now. Wait, you can do it when you get back. I'm not going to be here when we get back. Right, no, we, we can go to the gym now. Yeah, you can leave it all set up and just do it when you get back, because when, when we're done with the gym, I'm going to come back here, load out a bunch of my truck, and go over to the house. So. Well, yeah, it's kind of, it's recording right now. It is? So I'm going to get... <laughs> I'm gonna keep all that in. No, you're not. I, I am. You do not have my permission to publish said, said things on the internet. He's crazy, don't listen to him. <laughs> and that's it for this week's episode. Oh, boy. <laughs>